their video I was going to make on these buses was. And what it is, is uh, everybody always asks, why are buses so, or especially split window buses, so rusty? And versus, you know, you get a bug or you get a some other model and it just don't seem to rust quite as bad as buses did and the reason is pretty simple it's there's actually two reasons why they were so rusty um, one is that the they had a lot of nooks and crannies um, like if you look at a bug you pretty much had a floor pan and all the rust seems to be, you know, all the water seems to go to one place and four pans rust out. If you look at, you know, convertibles or stuff like that, they're often more rust, of course, because why? Because the water got inside, settled, and sat in areas like this. Um, buses um, have a lot of nooks and crannies. So, like, underneath, right here, if you look underneath, let me turn the light on. There's so many places for water to just trap and dirt to trap itself. And when the dirt traps itself on there, the uh, water would hold up underneath uh, the dirt. And then the dirt, you know, there's a lot of times the, the rockers always rusted because dirt would get inside the inner uh, rocker. And uh, right here, and it would just stay inside there and it would just just sit there and rust and especially if you're in a salty climate or they had salt in the uh, dirt you know that would be in there it would just rust that much faster uh, and there's just so, so many little nooks and crannies on them but that's not the real reason um, that's not the main reason why that they rusted so bad the reason why they rust so bad is back in the old days in the 50s, 40s, 30s, um, we did not have these type of garage doors, roll-up doors. You didn't have these. Nobody had these. Nobody had these until, oh gosh, uh, I'm trying to think, it was in the 90s when everybody was replacing their doors uh, with the nice roll-up doors. Um, and with that being said, you had a wood door, and in the middle of the wood door was that big... Uh, bar that hung down and then went back up to basically restretch the door from sagging. Um, if you remember those at all, those wooden doors um, opened up about, oh, about 10 inches below the existing door, which was about right here. <laughs> so what happened? Why did buses, why did buses rust so much? Because they sat outside, they did not fit in the garage. They would not fit unless you lowered them. They wouldn't fit in the garage, and nobody lowered buses. I was I knew this because I had one of those little garage doors for many years, and my bus would not fit in the garage until I lowered it, and then it would fit in. So that's the biggest reason why when they sat outside, they didn't fit in the garage, um, and the bugs did. The bugs got inside. A lot of them got inside. So there's a lot more bugs um, still on the road than there are on buses. The other reason why that they didn't uh, that they didn't last, and they were not. And there's so many of them off the road, and there's so many of them that are rusted out, is because they were not really designed to last. This was a throwaway car. This was a car designed to be made and it was a cheap way to carry a lot of people or carry a lot of stuff with if you're talking about a combi and um, it was just a cheap way to get around it got great gas mileage and it was lightweight and was not designed to last it wasn't these things should have never made it this long something that made it this long is is an absolute miracle that these things are still around um, because if it sat outside for that many years and it didn't completely rust out and it wasn't designed to last and there's all those nooks and crannies and it made it through all those hoops and it's still around, 
it's pretty amazing and that's why that they're so hard to repair and why they're so expensive um, because they cost so much to restore I mean I've talked to guys restoration shops or you know I mean legit restoration shops that are usually charging between you know for a really really nice restoration not talking about like stuff that I do isn't really really nice it's it's decent it's about maybe an 8 out of 10 I don't do any really really nice things I don't have time I, I don't want to put that many man hours into something and have it get you know I'll be on the way to a show and some you know, wrecks into it and it's totaled out It'd be horrible you know I have that much time and money invested into it so um you know these guys are spending eighty thousand ninety thousand dollars to restore these things so you know uh, and it's just because it's it, it, they charge by the hour the guys who are doing it like the guys who do the best restorations the guys who've done the two hundred thousand dollar buses the ones you've seen on Hemmings and stuff like that and uh, what's that Barrett Jackson that was sold for two hundred seventeen thousand dollars I know the guy who did it. I mean, his stuff is perfect. Um, everything's welded, but welded in tight. Um, he just does a really, really nice job. And to do that, it takes a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of man hours. It just takes a lot of time. And he charges like 80 bucks an hour, which is super cheap. Um, his name's Sean out in the, uh, up, out in the Hesperia. He does a great job. I mean, there's no doubt the guy does fantastic work. I've even seen his patina rides and stuff like that. He does amazing stuff but it costs you a lot of money it, because it takes a lot of time and buses sit in his shop for four or five years you know I mean I just wouldn't want to put that much time into something I mean it's like I am just want to go to a show and have fun I don't want to sit there and wait for my bus to get done but anyway um, that's why that the buses rust and the bugs didn't the bugs were inside, the bugs were out, the buses were outside. They didn't fit. Right here, you can just see that garage. It barely fits in here when that's all the way up. It's about, you know, four inches away. And those things were about eight to ten inches lower than that because the door, you needed the space for the door, would be sitting right here. So it'd be like right there, boom, hit the roof. Wouldn't fit. Even our bay window wouldn't fit in the garage. I think actually the bay window was just a little bit shorter than the combi. Um, I think it is. So I think our bay window actually fit in the garage, but we hardly ever put it there because there was always junk in there. <laughs> but people that kept their cars in the garage, you know, they would put them in there. You know, I think the bay window actually may have fit, but it was like inches might have scraped along there and if you didn't have everything set up you know the stars didn't align just right it the bait wouldn't would, wouldn't fit in there i think it was just a little bit shorter but i'm not sure but for sure the splitties would not fit because i had a splitty and it would not fit in my garage it, unless i lowered it and i did lower it so it fit so anyway that's the reason why buses are so rusty